Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to God of War, Chains of Olympus. Last time, we made our way through the town of Marathon and fought a few monsters along the way, and we came across what is known as the Chariot, the Sun Chariot, or the Sun Temple of Helios. Uh, a statue... Athena's statue, or should I just say a statue of Athena, which is right here. She explains to Kratos that Orpheus is gathering power, and that if Helios and the Sun Chariot doesn't get back in position soon, the whole world will fall into darkness, sort of thing. So, with that, we, we got a job to do. So, we're going to take care of that. What are we dealing with? More sabers. I want to slice these guys, because I think... I might be wrong, but I think I only need to do it a few more times to get the trophy achievement. That's another the mutton for everyone. Those the ones that throw the fire bombs can be the worst. Oh yeah, any enemies that walk into fire from fire bombs and whatever, uh, it will hurt them. So you can trick enemies into potentially like killing each other. Hey! There we go! Mutton for punishment! We got only like, I think, two or three achievements left. Or maybe just one. Like, I got one or two left that I can get. I'm glad I got one of them on screen. Oh! Come here, Mutton Top. They have me some nice lamb chops from you. That said, though, I never actually had mutton or lamb chops in any way. Is it any good? What does it taste like? Like, obviously, we know what beef and chicken and pork taste like, so what does goat or mutton taste like? Does it have, like, a, a flavor that can be described? Is it like a case of, oh, it tastes something kind of like beef in a way? Go ahead and tell me if you've ever had that sort of stuff. Right. Yep, there's another one up there. Oh, sorry. Hey. Let's open her up. Yeah. 
So there was a reason that you had to do that, because um, you can't really open it with that one satyr right there, just constantly throwing firebombs at you, so you had to get rid of it. Alright, let's break this down. Alright, we are in. can be annoying, especially in large numbers. Right, we're finally at 6,000, but before I try leveling up, let me look around more and see what I can find. What's this? Temple of Helios. The Temple of Helios sits atop the Sun Chariot and is home to the Sun God Helios, drawn across the skies by the Fire Sun. The fire steeds. It rises every day from the east and sets in the west where it rests until the new dawn. The sun may rise from the east, at least it settles in a final location. It's understood that Hollywood sells Californication. Let's move these statues out of the way so we can hold the levers. I know one of these doors it opens leads to um, to a chest. I think either a red chest or a chest that's filled with, that has, you know, an eye or a feather. I think it's that way, but I'll be sure to check both ways. That's the way to go. So let's go this way and get our bonuses. This guy. I believe the game refers to them as fire guards. Or fire warriors. I call them sun guards or sun warriors because they're associated with the sun. They hit pretty hard. Oh, I didn't get to show off the animation. Alright, this time I can make up for it. Yeah, they hit pretty hard, like I said. Because I'm blocking, but their attacks are too heavy to be blocked at the moment. Like that, and yes, these guys give off green orbs. Gonna say, you want to throw any more of them at me while you're at it? All righty. So yeah, you were pretty much supposed to go this way so you can open that door and have a run-in with the fire guards. 
or the fire warriors, whatever you want to call them. where yeah I, I need to level up all right let's do the blades all right new moves when you're blocking hold press square to do the cyclone of chaos both on the ground or in the air Very powerful move. And it said we need 4,000 for the next upgrade, so I'm gonna wait until we hit like six or eight thousand for that, or actually seven or eight thousand, I should say, probably eight thousand. What's in here? Another phoenix feather. Okay, and uh, just in case, is there anything else up here other than pots for me to smash? Nope. Alright, let's go down and let's keep moving. Smash this. Okay, and let's smash this buckle lock. Ready. It is rather easier to just simply knock them off. Back off. I said back off. That does it. <laughs> but it's between health and magic, always go for health. All right, hold on. Yeah, always go for health because, you know, it's more valuable than magic because it's what allows you to keep going. Sure, having your magic abilities to help with combat and bosses, it's useful and well needed, but like I said, if you want to keep going, you gotta survive, so you gotta make sure you're at full health at most of the time.
do we got here? I am grateful you have come, Ghost of Sparta. The Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus and has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? Helios holds within him the power of the Sun, a power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a Titan. Please. Take the sun shield from his throne, walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. Seek Eos in the caves of Olympus, and she will help you find her brother, Helios. Eos is considered, I believe, goddess of the light or dawn basically all right got that down before we go to the throne let us yeah find more of these hopefully I can reach 8,000 and then yeah get the next Blade upgrade. Oh, okay. I thought there would have been another chest. Alright, here's the throne. Nope. Can't damage these braziers. Only the sun shield of Helios can open his temple doors. There it is. Um, I don't know if I should grab it now or... Yeah, hold on. Let's not grab it. Just... Let's look around some more and pick up things and yada yada. Good eye. All right, we're now at yeah seven thousand. If I can get us to eight thousand five hundred, then I will work on upgrading the blade. come down this way. Alright, close to 8,000. Alrighty, let's get that. Oh, we got smashed. Hate to smash your throne, Helio. But it's for the greater good. You have acquired the Sun Shield. The Sun Shield! 
time it just right, and you will not exactly counter your enemy, but it's basically a stronger version of your block. But you do want to upgrade it whenever you can, because it'll help you do counter attacks later. And that's what you need. It does more than just counter. So anytime you see these bits, that just means you gotta insert the shield to open it up. Thankfully, it will always come back to you. No problem. Good, there's a save point here. And we need to stop anyway, so... Alrighty, I'm all good, I'm all healed up. That will do for this episode of God of War Chains of Olympus. Join me next time as now with the Sun Shield, we just keep pushing our way through the temple here and... Well, we got a lot to do. We now, we gotta find Eos in the cave, in the caverns of Olympus. She'll give us a, a tip and some help on where we can find Helios. So that is it, and I will see you guys next time.